Well, it, as expected, it was going to be an up and down game, as Yang Giao called it. But he only had eight men, but he had eight sturdy men who were able to carry the load. In fact, naging seven palang na, na lang nga, Richard. Tama, tama yan. At the start of this game, talaga, it was very entertaining. Ikita mo, mas score pala ng first quarter. 47 to 38 already. Alain Maliksi got injured, yes, and then later, Genio Halalon, Alain Maliksi did not return anymore. At itong si Terence Romeo continuing with the scoring onslaught. Not only that, giving out nice assists, you know, in this uh, record-breaking performance para kay Terence Romeo. On the other hand, your player, Javit Aguilar, put on quite a performance as well. Uh, all those dunks, and look at this. This is not the score you see every day. <laughs> That's correct. 86 to 70 at the halftime. But I think the third, things became a little bit more serious, no? Medyo humabul yung puti. Humabal. Oo, humabul talaga sila. And, uh, yun na nga, nagkaroon pa ng mga physicality. Kontings action. Kontings kiskisan. Kontings kiskisan. Tapos dalawang pagtaga FPO na kiskisan. Oo, tama yan. 118-105 at that point. And medyo humabol. Yes. From a high of 20, bumaba na actually up to the fourth quarter. Pababa ng pababa siya eh. That's correct. You know, and nakita mo naman yung move na yun ni Terrence Romeo. At the end of the third, yan ang ating score. Commanding lead para dito sa ating Luzon All-Star. Pero pagdating dito sa fourth quarter, Ito na. Ito na. Ito yung sayaw. Tuloy-tuloy yung mga timeliness ng mga tira. Yes. Terrence Romeo yun created yun. the separation. Yun yung pang 46 point niya. Ha? To break the record of James Yapagdila na Pablo. Yeah, Gio Alam, by the way, was also instrumental in this game for this win for them. Had a triple-double. And we were hoping that he would get the 10th rebound. Finally got it. No stopping there, yes, Romeo so and the was, uh, named as the uh, MVP of this uh, PBA All-Star Luzon leg.